How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing some Ymir. And we're up against a Sun Wukong. And what I'm actually doing today is I am now playing on East Coast. Because even though I usually play on West Coast because it's slightly closer to where I am. Uh, the matchmaking for West Coast is kind of bad. It's kind of bad um, because there's not enough players. So we're going to play East Coast and hope we get a better matchup. Anyways, I'm going to go into Guild Arrow with Bancrofts. Well, actually, no, we're against a warrior. What we want is we want auto attack damage. Auto attack damage is how you deal with tanks, as you mirror. So we're going to go into an early demonic rip, and we can either go a curse stonk for Wukong or something like that. I think a curse stonk first relic could be fine. It's kind of a defensive relic, but uh, kind of prevents him from healing so much from his ultimate. And later on, we can upgrade that. That way, he kind of has to sit in the cloud for the whole duration. Otherwise, he's going to take extra damage. But yeah, this is just fine. Let's just keep some wards. See where he is. Ymir can take red buff pretty easily, even if he tries to contest for it. Um, it depends on if he comes from the jungle, though. He might just be doing his blue buff, though. Or my blue buff. Some people start at my blue buff, which is weird. Starting Gilded Arrow. Just a fun item on Ymir overall. Um, you can go mannequins on... Ymir, but I, I like Gilded Arrow for the attack speed and the extra bonus auto attack damage. Manikins doesn't have as much. Really up to you. I just think Gilded Arrow is not as annoying as well. Swallow Ma. Get the freeze. Two. He's very slow. I can dive him here. And that's first blood. He started Brace of Radiance. Oh, and he's going Bumbo's Hammer. Bumbo's Hammer A. Yeah, our auto attacks did 362 damage to him. Ymir is insane with the boxing and the autos. Plus, Gilded Arrow gives a little bit of extra gold. I like it. Absolutely. Now, let's kill this one for the Gilded Arrow. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go take our blue buff or the pop of mana potion because I'm going to stay for a while. I do not plan on recalling anytime soon. We're not super soon, anyways. And we might stay one more wave after this one. Because we're pretty much full health of mana. And can we afford demonic yet? We cannot. We're still 300 gold away. Get that auto attack cancel in there. Cool, cool, cool. Use another potion. Looks like he swapped to defense, which is kind of weird to go to your one item and then go for a different one. But if you get first blooded, then it's not a bad idea, right? Because you, you need some tankiness to stay alive. So don't blame him too much for that. <clears throat> Should be able to afford demonic grip with this back, which is perfect. This is for defense, I'm thinking a breastplate of valor. The more we have our freeze, the more we can kill him. That's how I see it anyways. Might be able to kill him here. Yeah, I was worried about that. Looked like he didn't have enough mana for it. But either way, pushing him back here is worth for my ultimate. Missed out on a few of those archers as they died. Um, let's go place a ward over here. So we have vision of that. And we'll come back here. I guess it, we didn't get too much out of pushing him out, but oh well. He didn't even get all of his health and mana back from base. Wonder if that's going to be problematic for him. We're half health and mana right now. Don't want to dive. We don't have enough mana to do that. And he's not. He's not low enough. We're just going to kind of protect the minions right now. He's probably going to go Bulwark of Hope, which is a good item. If he actually recalls here, that's a mistake. Okay, cool. Should get red buff guaranteed? We could try to steal his buff as well. Let's see. Yeah, we can contest this. He has no mana. He has no mana on Wukong. I might do a Wukong video, to be honest. He's a fun guy. Well, I think you should go Bluestone on him. Bumpus Hammer for late game could be insane with him, but 
the early game is kind of rough without that. This should be coming up soonish. We can wait for it. It's a little greedy to stay with this much gold, but we're so far ahead. We're two levels ahead. Quite a bit of gold. Uh, and then we're still full health, so not really in any danger. We could just wait for that blue buff to come up. Could have went for the minis, though. XP cap. Cool, cool, cool. I hate when I don't get all the last hits of the wave, but it's not as important in Smite compared to, like, League of Legends or Dota. Like, in those games, you have to get the last hit, so otherwise you miss out on a ton of gold. But in Smite, you only get a little bit more for getting last hits, so it's not the end of the world if you don't. Now, if you're missing every last hit on every wave, then it adds up. But not really right now. It's kind of like the Gilded Arrow. Like, the extra gold from Gilded Arrow doesn't actually make too much of a difference. That's just nice. I mostly like the extra attack speed from getting the stack. He's very low on uh, mana. He'll do a huge amount of damage here. Might even try to wall him off and then all. Should have used my Curse Honk there. But not like he got much healing anyways. Alright, he's recalling. Let's just clear the wave. And there was one more mini, but I say we just go for this. Maybe try to poke him out right away. His Hydra's Lament, which will help him a lot with his mana sustain. Because he's been having problems with that. Our autos are hitting for like 98 damage. Not bad. I think he was going to go for a Transcendence, but then he fell behind in the early game. Oh, I tried to wall that off because I knew he was going to do that. Might be worth diving him here because I know his everything is down. Will I live, though? I do live. I do live. Let's go. That was close. That was close. All right, red buff's coming up, but we should not stay. How many tower shots was that? That was like nine tower shots, damn. All right, I say we go for more attack speed, honestly. Ring of Hecate, perhaps. Save our second relic, no reason to get it right now. We could go a horrific if he does not get a sprint. And we're just kind of forcing him not to get a relic as well. So just kind of good overall. He is taking red buff right now. I can hear it. Definitely could have tried to stop him there. I'll dive him again because we have so much damage. Okay. But if he slows me, that's problematic. Got that curse donk just in time. Oh, I missed. Oh my lord, 12 HP. That was super weird of what I did. That was super weird, but it worked out. I like try to get my autos off, but also wanted to wall them off so I don't take too much damage. And it worked, worked out fairly well. I'm wondering if I didn't wall them off at all. And if instead I just full fled retreated, if I would have lived. Um, we don't have Bancroft, so a lot of times in this situation, when I have this little health, I try to stay, and then I'll actually turn and kill them. But without Bancrofts, uh, we don't have the damage boost, so it's just kind of dumb to do that. I must require this at once. Yeah, he actually can't get his second relic yet. You're trapped in here with me. Well, at least for now. My bird do go far. We definitely don't want him getting like it. Because Bumba's Wukong can be scary. I think I can still win in the late game. I just don't want to deal with it, to be honest. Get that auto attack cancel in. We just get a huge amount of free damage here. Body block him. 
Okay. And actually, can go for a Demon King here. Since he has to recall, he's too low HP. We have Varisic here with our ultimate. This should be a free Demon King. Or at least free enough. I swear you used to be able to see Demon King's health exactly at the top of the screen. Like, it, so you could see once he has a thousand HP. Because that's how when I ult. But that might have just been the other map. He didn't even come over here, so perfect. Oops. That figured that. Did not mean to wall. Uh, now, every second we stay here fighting him, we're not taking his Phoenix. So, I don't know if I actually want to fight him too much, anyways. Maybe a little bit. Could also recall to get Hakate, but I say we just push. We just push. Give him a chance to defend as well. Probably gonna all. Yep, there it is. Alright, he went straight for that. Uh, red buff came up, but I just wanted to use my Demon King time uh, effectively. Alright, half of it's already gone. Oh, he do 26 damage. Oh, man. Gonna take a minute. I think she just placed his Bracer of Radiance. Alright, minions are in range of the Phoenix, so now we're doing uh, twice as much damage because there's no more factor protections. I'd be able to kill him here. He doesn't have his, uh, his ultimate. Yeah, there it is. He still has his... He got Blink, actually, so I can go horrific if I really want to. Um, where's he back off? He's dead for a while, but I, I just need my items. I have 3,000 gold. <clears throat> Plus, I can go for red buff. All right, I say at this point, um, maybe a Doomorb. Doomorb's pretty good on Yumir. And Doomorb also uh, will help us with movement speed because he's going to have a lot of movement speed with his Bracer of Radiance. Let's drop this and go for red. Unless he went straight for red. And it's already taken. I saw him going over there. Nope. <clears throat> hey, excuse me. Anyways, uh, he has Hydra's Jotuns, which means when he upgrades this, he's going to be super overcapped on cooldown. But, I mean, he's level 13. I guess he did it as a, as a last stand type of thing. We have the perfect wall. I thought that would be it, but nope. It's just his ultimate. We're level 16, he's level 13. Now I try to wall him off as so I go for him. Alright, alright. Just chill, just chill. You can't full commit to every wave like that. I think we just should just alt just for the Titan damage. Oh, I missed. Oh, I hit him though. Oh man, if I didn't, if I didn't miss that freeze, that would have been a uh, game. Keep in mind he has blink, so we should not lazy back. Yeah, he's actually, no, he's going for my wave. All right, we're good. I'm thinking a Rod of Duty could be a good last item. Rod of Duty is pretty solid on your mirror. Increases how much damage I'm doing my autos. Works really well with your mirror passive. Just good stuff overall. Wall that off perfectly. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, I could barely could not get close enough. Oh, okay, he's out. He's out. His Phoenix is up soon. What we could do is we could go for Demon King, but I say I say we just push forward. The game's pretty one-sided. Could make it interesting. Absolutely. 
try and get this phoenix. Alright, big damage. He did not clear the wave. Got him out with that. Perfect. It may have, like, seemed dumb for him to go straight for the wave like that, but I think it's just kind of one of those things where, uh, be damned if you do, be damned if you don't, because if he didn't and I got that Phoenix, that's pretty much over anyways. So might as well try to kill that fire minion wave and get something out of it, right? Might as well try. Um, anyway, GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to queue East Coast more. It seems like the matchmaking is about the same. Because it's like, man, because like I tried to record a Cerberus game today and I just died four times in a row and that was it, right? So I keep having these one-sided games where either I'm getting stomped or like I'm the one that is, it's very, it's just one-sided matches and I want to get more even ones and I think I have a higher chance of doing that on East Coast, so I'm going to keep playing on East Coast, see what happens. But uh, thank you all for watching, I appreciate it and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you.